On Saturday, the streamlined law enforcement integrity bill passed the Colorado General Assembly, greenlining a statewide law enforcement reform that will change everything from body camera usage to who can sue officers and departments. Although this bill passed in only 10 days, it went through a number of drafts, important changes that were made with law enforcement input. I spoke with State Senator Ray Scott and our local sheriff Matt Lewis about the creation of this bill and what it means moving forward. I think law enforcement will be different. With the passing of Senate Bill 217, or the Enhanced Law Enforcement Integrity Bill, changes are coming for Colorado peace officers. This streamlined piece of legislation, passed in just 10 days, went through a number of changes before it got the final okay. Important changes that impact our local law enforcement. So when the bill came back for our final approval in the Senate, <clears throat> there were several things that were, that were really, really bad with the bill. Ray Scott was one of two senators that voted nay on an amended version. Was that they added about 1.5 million unfunded mandates to Mesa County. It was just money they, don't, they just don't have right now. Money that would go to body cameras for all deputies. The headlining new mandate for all law enforcement across the state. So currently the Mesa County Sheriff's Office doesn't have a body camera program. For local departments like the Mesa County Sheriff's Office, law enforcement input was critical to creating something feasible. Early versions of the bill, if you look at those, as compared to uh, what finally uh, came out of the legislature, are completely different in, in a lot of areas, and a lot of that was due to direct feedback from the law enforcement community. And to focus on community is and always has been of prime importance to Mesa County officers, something that will not be lost in the wording of a new law. It was law enforcement in Mesa County, is to, I think, or is doing a great job between Matt Lewis and of course our, our local police uh, chief. Our job as public safety is to be open, be responsive, and, and do the things that our community asks of them. And no matter what changes may come, that core value will always remain. Uh, we're not going to wait. We're going to get started on it now. Um, I, I think waiting would, quite frankly, be irresponsible, and there's a lot of work to be done. And of course, we'll keep you updated with that. Now, Colorado State Patrol also released a statement on the passing saying, quote, we currently comply with many portions of this new bill, but we look forward to implementing changes such as adding body cameras for our troopers, serving our communities and saving lives through highly trained and professional troopers. That will continue to be our goal. For more on SB 2217, make sure to check out westernslopenow.com, where in just a few minutes we'll have the full text of the final draft.